Hello again, everyone. <coughs> Excuse me. Hello, this is uh, Gil Murray, and this is episode 5 of Pacific War. I am playing the Americans, and it's really time for us to go ahead and do a execute a turn because these turns don't take very long. Some of them, especially in the beginning, uh, the setup and everything like that, after you get that done, it's, it's pretty much, uh, some of the turns are pretty much pretty quick unless you're plotting a big attack during that turn so let's go ahead and execute a turn and see what oh wait i know what i wanted to do i did not want to i i decided that i wanted to go ahead and go to christmas island with this guy and the reason is once i get them at christmas island or johnston island then I'd have to do probably almost two turns to get them over into the South Pacific where the Solomon Islands are. And if I do this this turn, I won't have to do it next turn and thereby I save myself at least one turn. So that's how I'm going to do that. I'm going to get the aircraft carrier to both aircraft carriers in that task force and this aircraft carrier and this task force to uh, Cook Island or was it Cook Island? Wait a minute. Yep, Cook Island and then I want to combine them there and then take them over to this area. So now let's execute the turn and I did actually change my setup on uh, the recording. It now does not stop recording when the frame does an update so that basically means that it's not going to stop when I'm not doing any movements with the mouse or anything like that it'll just keep on recording no matter what so the uh, Japanese just took Hitra um, Japanese just took Hong Kong and they're bombing Clark Field. As you can see, they already have aircraft down in Davao, the base of Davao, where, which they took on the first turn, I believe. And that just means that, you know, they don't waste any time. They put, they put units right where they need them. And they're attacking my land units. And attacking Singapore and attacking Clark Field. Looks like they're about to, uh, yep, they're taking Rabal, the base Rabal. And Macassar, Macassar, Macassar. There will almost I almost guarantee you there will be places that I forgot to evacuate. And it's just gonna be one of those deals. I'm not gonna get them all. They took the island of Migros. I don't know how to pronounce that and it's now yeah, no easy way to pronounce that I guess. Um I don't know what base that is, but it's on the island of New Guinea. Cebu and Bohol, gone. And this was what it was like in World War II when the Japanese attacked. They went everywhere in the Pacific and took everything they could. Oops, I accidentally hit the space bar. That's my ship's going to Townsville, I believe. Hopefully. Oh, damn. Uh. I don't think that had any troops on it, though. Hopefully it didn't. But uh, only I think only one ship, if at most, was sunk that if on that situation. Sometimes 
this uh, program automatically scuttles the ship for you depending on how damaged it was. So it looks like it's uh, pretty much recording continuously, which is really what I want. Um, it it doesn't update automatically every single for every single second, but it it seems like it's moving without me having to move the mouse around or anything like that. So I hope that's I hope that is definitely um, helping. You know the recording out as you can see, Rangoon just got taken, and uh, that's the end of the turn. I lost 325 squads, 66 AVs, 33 guns, and 6 aircraft. They lost 22 aircraft. So they're not doing too badly at the beginning of the war. And as you can see, Palau was increasing their airfield. And that is the Japanese building up that airfield. That wasn't me. And... So that turn went pretty quick, quickly. Ooh. Yes, we just, our, our submarines just sank a escort carrier. Nicely done. That was nice. You don't usually see stuff like that. That was good. And let's see. Now you can see that this whole area down in the Solomon Islands area, New Guinea area, is uh, becoming more and more Japanese. They're taking over everything. And it's our turn now. I'm going to save it. I'm very... Uh, ritualistic in saving I like to save almost all the time I do not like to lose games which is funny because what it, what happened with Warren East I lost my save game so we're doing a transfer port and we're gonna take everything we can so now we have three aircraft carriers under Will Halsey William Halsey Bill Halsey, Halsey. I think he went by Bill and uh, 24 F4Fs, 24 F4Fs, 24 F, and everybody's training. So now, if I'd done that at Christmas Island, I would have probably um, either taken a gamble and cut straight across or gone to Cook Island. So instead, I'm going to go to uh, Espirito Santo. And let's go ahead and make. Espirito Santo A under a different base. I don't want them under KMT. Central Pacific. I don't want I don't know if I want to be too gamey with that, but I guess we might have to. And so that that means I have 114 prep points. Um set target. Is it I, n I never really set target for the base. I don't know. I know that helps, but I don't know actually how to do it, to be honest. Let's look at sunk. So we've sunk a carrier escort or escort carrier, and they have sunk one of my battleships, a fleet. Oiler, a transport, and a submarine, and two destroyers. That's really horrible for them. That's a horrible. And I put the uh, helps that Japanese plus one, and it it didn't do do them too well, did it? Did it? Um, let's replenish that, and then let's load it, and let's load it with air groups again. Because, see, I'm starting to get more air groups, I think. And 
load air group and you can press A for you know the choose the F4S or you can left click it whatever you want to do that's uh you know the the GUI is pretty pretty advanced for a 1991 92 game if you ask me port no uh, W no not any combat let's go ahead and march them to San Francisco well we gotta go through LA first airfield nothing there let's check on our so you see um, they've added or repaired some P40s so they're they're definitely let's put them on training too I've never had to use these things a hawk but it doesn't look like it's all that bad 24 6 16 24 12 24 well it, it's a lot worse than the P40 that's for sure so um, look at there we've got our three well two divisions and one regiment that we saved from the Philippines and Singapore so let's um, combine there's a lot of damage I don't necessarily know that I want speed 28 speed 27 that's all right we can do that so let's R for remove do I want to disband TF-63 yes and then we will disband these other small task forces and then we'll transfer some of the tra to troop transports into this task force so let's see what we can do here we had enough in that stack to take the full uh, Philippine infantry division this one's still small so he hasn't and then we do that and then let's load supply and we used up all the supply and then we're going to Port Moresby and hopefully that's the one that no is it excuse me oh that's the one that they see it could have scuttled it on its own but it it um damn it it's still it's still up it's gonna make me scuttle it if anybody does it these are all still filling up And so what we're going to do is we're gonna, move, we're gonna march them up and we're going to march them up march these three divisions up or brigades or whatever they are and what we're going to do is see your prep points are zero now prep points are zero wait a minute let's just make sure okay I'm going to change this base too because the prep points are zero Let's put them to Central Pacific as well. And let's combine some of these by removing the, some of the task forces. And I guess I could transfer directly from one task force to another, but 
sometimes I feel like it's easier just to go ahead and put them in. Let's see how, what that gives us. Do we have a leader? We do have a leader. Look at this guy. He's got a. That's as good as you're going to get for land for an admiral, probably. So let's put him. And, well, it doesn't really matter because I'm not really attacking anybody, but. All these guys are attached to the North Pacific, but they're not letting me load. I wonder why. Maybe they're. They need to be. Um, Attached to something else. I don't know. They didn't, as w I was saying, Ragoon was was captured. So we have three indi Indian divisions. Their experience sucks. 30, 19, and 12 for experience. So this is not a very strong group of units. This guy's experience is 30. Not very good either, but. You pretty much, you know, have to do what you have to do. And what I was doing there is I just deactivate it by, if you hit activate when it's deactivated, it'll activate. But if you hit activate when it's activated, it'll deactivate. It's pretty simple. Uh, let's see. There. I'm going to leave them here for now. Just because they're bombing the hell out of uh, Singapore's supplies. So we'll keep, they've got a lot of supply or a decent amount of supplies. So we'll keep them there for now. Port unit, port unit. Just making sure. Airfield, field, airfield, airfield, field. Okay. Seems like there were more air wings and, and ships to get out of uh, harm's way back in previous uh, patches, but uh, so we lost Hollandia. Hollandia. And it is in the March range of those, so really that's about all we can do at this point, so let's... um. I think we should go ahead and execute another turn. Yeah, there's not much going on here. In the next turn will be 1942, and that's when you will see a lot of new units. I think a lot of the combat units get reattached to different combat headquarters so that you can start moving them around and things like that. So let's go ahead and process another turn so as you can see this game goes pretty quickly I mean it doesn't it's not like War in the East where you can, I could do three episodes on one turn it's um you know I can do two turns an episode with this and it's in a way you know it's nothing at all similar to Ajog games but in just that certain in situation where you can run two or three turns in one episode in 30 minutes that means it's you know that's one similarity they they go pretty quickly and that's what's going on here is um, these turns are going pretty quickly as you can see some of my fighters and bombers attacked Rangoon and destroyed the the uh, oil facility a little bit of their oil facility there There's Jolo, or Holo, I don't know how that's pronounced, but we just lost it. Oh, they're going to take a Adak Island. I don't know why they take that island. That seems to be, that's what naval bombardment does.
And, and naval bombardment, all it does is really just softens the troops up a little bit. Um, you know, knocks their readiness down. Nando taken. I take a tappy. I don't know how to pronounce that either. There's a lot of these words I don't know how to pronounce, but I mean they're from a foreign language, I guess. Palawan. Most of these are from a different language than I speak, so it makes sense that I wouldn't be able to pronounce them unless I've heard it before. Wow. Basically, at the beginning of the war, it's like Japan's just clubbing seals because the U.S. And, and the Allies, they can't do anything in that first three or four months or so. They're, they're very hamstrung. They don't have any assets in the uh, Pacific Theater. And really and truly, um, once we entered the war, once the United States entered the war, uh, the focus was on beating Germany first and then going after Japan, which, you know, I'm not criticizing that one way or the other. We did pretty well against the Japanese um, even even before, you know, we made it a priority. We really didn't make it a priority. At, I mean, I don't know. I mean, maybe in 43 or 44, I, I guess it was a priority. We sank two, two ships of theirs. I think that might have been... In the uh, convoy, convoy phase, maybe? Look at all those airfields being enlarged except the one where the CBs are. Yeah, see, 1942, my, my subs start doing a lot better than they did in 41. Although we only got three hits, they're starting to crank it up a little. Now, I hope this recorded. I had an update, and I hope this records right, because it seems like every time my computer, my drivers get updated, the uh, recording gets, sometimes the recording settings get changed all around. So, do my save, looking at this, that's still going to Cairns, that's going to Townsville, um, look at all that, I'm still completely shocked that these both of these battle the battleship and the battle cruiser survived I'm just going to remove all these task forces because they're really not doing anything and now in port we have all this I'm probably not going to use the Prince of Wales until it's a little less damaged That's not it. Okay, so now we gotta f we gotta find what did I do? What did abort do? Find ships. Not a 
imagine. Why in the hell is it going in that direction? Well, I mean, it went in the opposite damn direction. I really couldn't use, could have used it not doing that. But you'd be surprised. These things sometimes have a mind of their own. And for whatever reason, that one just did. It went in the exact opposite direction that I wanted it to go. Let's see. There's my aircraft carrier force. So they're going to Espirito Santo. Santu, however you pronounce that. And get. Okay. Load combat forces. What's it? What's going on with us? Why is it not letting me do that? Oh, it's still attached to CMF. I guess that means it's not going to be allowed to. Um, it's not going to be allowed to move off the the island or, or the continent of Australia until it's. Everything's redone, and it wasn't redone that turn, so let's see. W, no, still don't have any new land units, so airfield. Um, I think we might have gotten some port. We got some more uh, some more submarines it's nice and you always want to check over here just to see oh see we got the indomitable and we got 12 LSIs which is um, troop transport as well so cr oops create wait a minute Wait a minute. Let's don't do that. Let's remove that. That was an empty task force container. And let's look at the indomitable. Let's see if we can't change. Yes, we can change it to F4Fs. And if we can change the albacore. It is not letting me change the albacore. Okay. Create. Air combat. No. Um... And what I'm going to do with this is get them to Espirito Santo as well and put that in my aircraft carrier force and uh, try to get their troops trained up or their aircraft trained up, which reminds me, mission training, mission training, and then I want to create a transport unit port oh they got a lot and we're going to take that down here as well and then we're going to at some point we're going to build a troop transport task force that has a lot of troop transports in it so that we can dump three or four divisions on one island if needed and that will help us take islands as opposed to trying to do it by bits and pieces port no I don't think we got anything extra that time so well this is as good a time as any to uh, wrap up this episode um, as you can tell, it's it's still very one-sided for the Japanese. There's not much to do yet. They've taken a lot of bases. This one, this one, this. Uh, did they take? Yeah, they took that last turn, though. This one, this one. Um, yeah, they're still taking them. They took all of the tra um, ports in this area except this one. Kagayan. Kagayan, Kagayan, and Panay for some reason. 
the uh, AI doesn't take Panay usually, or it, maybe under this new patch it will, but let's actually let us. Yep, we just placed that submarine in that new submarine that we got, the Gato class. All right, that, that uh, does it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.